So today we are out on the Wind River Reservation. The land behind me, way back where the mountains are there, that's uh, Shoshone tribe land. And uh, nearby here, there's some Arapaho tribe land. The, uh, oddly, the land I'm standing on, you're kind of right in the middle of the reservation, is not uh, tribal land. It's land that was allocated out during the Homestead Act. And so um, they've been working at buying the land that I'm on right now back into uh, native owned. So it's kind of an interesting story that we're covering out here. Um, they just reincorporated about 300 acres on the land I'm standing on. And there's 300 acres next door that was already a part of the operation that we're filming right now. So um, it's beautiful country out here. You can't really tell from a cell phone, but there's uh, some snow capped mountains somewhere behind me there but it is gorgeous. I mean, this is some of the prettiest countryside that we have been to yet. And um, the story that we're working on here is a fabulous story. I, so we will be out here filming for a couple days and then we'll be uh, moving on to the next spot. So enjoy some of this footage and um, hopefully you'll learn something. My name is Jason Baldus. Uh, I'm a member of the Eastern Shoshone Tribe, and today we're located here on the Big Wind River, adjacent to the Shoshone Tribe's growing buffalo program. I work for the National Wildlife Federation's Tribal Partnerships Program as the Tribal Buffalo Program Manager, and have worked to build uh, partnerships with both the Eastern Shoshone and the Northern Arapaho Tribes to build a buffalo program collaboratively and simultaneously uh, with the goal of managing buffalo as wildlife under our, our uh, existing game laws. I took a trip to East Africa with my dad in 97 and together we traveled around major, the major national parks in East Africa. And we were able to witness the wildebeest migration, which was uh, it's a real turning point for me because to, to witness one and a half million wildebeest was pretty unfathomable, but to realize that's less than 5% of what the bison was here less than 200 years ago, then I had a newfound uh, appreciation for my home, my people, my community. And so after a return back from Africa, I, I kind of made it my mission to work on bison restoration By restoration of a keystone species, we know that plant and animal biodiversity will increase. They uh, provide benefit to many other organisms. Uh, their unique dust bathing behavior or wallowing creates micro depressions in the landscape. And when there were 30 to 60 million bison, the wallows would have been abundant. And wallows are very important for, for water accumulation and buffalo themselves. Wallowing uh, is important in seed dispersal. Bison are primarily graminoid feeders, so they eat the grasses and, and leave the forbs. Interestingly, the forbs are where our cultural plants are, our foods, tools, medicines. Those cultural plants are oftentimes associated with these wallows. Bison are also very important to lepidopterans, butterflies, reptiles, salamanders. Several bird species uh, need buffalo hair for their eggs to reach the right incubation temperature. 
the ferruginous hawk, the mountain plover, and the burrowing owl are all listed as species of concern by the Fish and Wildlife Service, largely because of the absence of bison on the landscape. As we return bison, many of these species also return. By bringing buffalo back, managing our other wildlife species, ensuring that we have uh, a viable population of buffalo is, is actually food sovereignty. So the diet of getting this, this buffalo back into the, the dinner plates of our people is also about health and healing. And so as we heal the land by restoring buffalo, uh, we also in turn heal our communities and promote a more holistic land use strategy that's beneficial to all of our tribal members. It's about exercising sovereignty and self-determination, ensuring that our young people are grounded in Buffalo will ensure that we can have our values and traditions reflected in our management into the future.